Okay, hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Nikki Nicole. So today's video is gonna be my six month update about my hair growth, the products that I use, and different styles that I've been achieving. If you, a lot has changed with my hair. So if you're interested in knowing what's been going on with my hair, then stay tuned. Okay, so the biggest update going on with my hair is the fact that I'm able to achieve other protective hairstyles besides wigs. So I was wearing wigs, and the last couple wigs that I got were terrible. Like I wore them for like a good four to five days, and then they were done with and I don't know what to do with my hair because I'm not trying to wear it because I want to leave it alone. So, yeah, my hair is in that really, really awkward stage just because of the shape of it. And I'm not used to having such short hair. So, I decided to blow dry my hair and I'm able to get braids now. So, I blow dry my hair and I was able to get some Havana twists. I had a friend do some Havana twists on my hair. And the hairstyle was perfect. Like, when my hair grow back a little bit more, I'm going to do the hairstyle again. But my hair is not all at that point. So because the, my Havana twist had huge sections, my hair was too short. And my hair literally started falling out. Like I literally had strands of twists all over the floor. Because my hair was short one. She did not do it very tight. Because I was telling her like, save my edges. I do not want my hair being pulled out. Like I got this much hair and I don't want it too tight. Like I don't want tension on my hair. Like I'm trying to grow my hair out as good as possible, as fast as possible. And I don't want any tension on my hair. So she did it. It looked nice. Um, it was not too tight, but because my hair is short, it started falling out. And then as I start oiling my scalp, it added more slip. And my hair started falling out literally. So I had twists all over the place. I can take off my shirt. I have a twist on the floor. I can be laying down, sleep, wake up with a whole bunch of twists. So they were falling out. So I had the hairstyle in for about two weeks. It was Havana twist and I had she shells in it. And it was really cute. So I'm disappointed. She did a really good job. She kept caught all my hair and it's not tight. It looks really tight. Like the edges look tight, but they're not tight. And she did a good job on them and she's not charging but So right now I'm just doing like the lemonade braids, but I'm not really like, at first I thought they were like super cute, but I'm just not with it. Like it looks cute on certain people, but not me. Like my head is huge and it just looks weird. And then she had to put individual um braids along the side just because if she would have braided all the way down toward the ear it would have been really pulling my hair because right there my hair is short so this is what it's looking like on the side and because of that it kind of like make the braids right here stand up so the braids are going down and kind of go over those individual braids so i'm not really liking that but it is what it is besides the fact that i'm able to wear braids now um i'm going to go back to wearing wigs because i want my hair to grow a little bit more like i don't have to keep putting heat on my hair for the havana twist and this hairstyle i had to blow dry my hair and i really don't want to get in the habit of putting heat in my hair because like my hair is really short so i'm not trying to get heat damaged on my hair before it even gets long and start growing faster so i'm just leave it alone and go back to wearing my wigs but before i was even doing this i was wearing wigs i was wearing wigs consistently and i was just leaving it alone because my hair is in an awkward stage so i don't want to wear it because if i wear it i'm going to get bored and i'm going to either cut my hair into a shape because i'm not used to it being this short like i've been chopped before the very first time i went natural back 2012 but i had a lot of new growth so my hair was never as short as it is now and then like at that time i looked younger my face was smaller so I, I was comfortable with it but right now my face is really big and i'm trying not to wear as much makeup so walking around with that little 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 fro i was it was just not cutting it was awkward and i didn't like it so yes i'm just covering my hair up and doing protective styles and wearing wigs but if i were if i were to wear my hair i would either cut it because i'm getting bored with it and i don't like the shape of it or i would either dye it and i bought dye and almost dyed it so i'm like i'm just gonna leave my hair long for this year of 2018 and see how much I, my hair could grow by 2019. besides wearing wigs i did try out a frontal and the, it was really cute like i see everybody on youtube wearing frontal wigs and buying frontals and installing it so i went and got a frontal and it was so harsh on my hair and i don't know if it was the stylist or the glue she used but she used super lace um super lace glue and my hair was my hair was laid like it was very cute and i'm gonna start some pictures but it was really cute and it made me really look mature because like now my face is like really round and stuff now so um when i wear curly hair or um straight wigs i like i feel like my age and versus when i wear my natural hair and a lot of people on used to say like when they wear their natural hair they feel like they have to wear makeup or they feel like they look too young and that's exactly how i was feeling so with the frontal i was feeling good and i was like really feeling myself but 
taking off that front tube was like the worst like one it only lasted for like a week so i would have to keep going to the shop and get it and installed reinstalled and it cost money so she was charged like 40 dollars every week plus it was a custom wig so i bought two bundles a closer that she made it into a wig and installed it and all together that was like 400 dollars so I'm in college and I don't got time to be um, keep going back so I was okay with the $400 paying that all together to get a custom um, lace front to wig but then having to go every week and pay $40 to get it reinstalled and, and to keep paying $40 every week to get it installed was one thing that's just too much money that is being wasted and when I tried to do it myself and save money it did not look as good so I just need to practice a little bit more but take it it off like it will slowly start to lift up and you have to use like alcohol like 90% alcohol or um, oil to like lift the glue up but it still pulled out my hair and it was so bad to the point where when I washed my hair like literally it burns all around my edges because like literally hair was pulled so I'm like no like that's not the protective hairstyle for me like I would get a lace front wig but like a front two and having my hair glued down and the glue she used like I'm not gonna do it if I do it's because like my shit my edges burn like really bad and I tried to put an apple cheek uh, apple G treatment on after I washed my hair because I'm like my hair is probably damaged and yeah that's like it's a no for me like I'm not doing a front two again okay so besides protective hairstyles to promote hair growth I am doing um hair affinity and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like my last time doing it because like if you are um familiar with my channel and subscribe you know i like to save all my money like i like to wear wigs i like to do cheap stuff i um did um nature bounty um gummies which are like seven dollars at walmart and hair affinity all together like shipping and everything it was almost like 45 dollars. so that's kind of expensive to me when there's other hair supplements out there but yeah i am doing hair affinity and these are the biggest pills i ever took in my life like these are big and it's like a hassle and it's like i don't even be want to take them but it's like i already paid my money for it so yeah so after this month is over i will not be buying these again okay and they do have a hair coupon so if you do purchase three months of hair supply of the pills then you can get 10 percent off your purchase with the hair code hair 1010 so I'm all about saving them coins so I probably won't be buying her affinity again because I feel like my hair grow fast anyways I'm taking good care of it and I can go out and purchase a cheaper um, cheaper hair supplement for $40 I could have bought three hair supplements from somewhere else so yeah I am using those those are really big and they kind of have like a real smell like I feel like youtubers are like oh my hair is growing but they don't tell you about it the pill is hard to swallow it's huge and it has a, a weird smell to it and for oils there is like this huge rave on Facebook about wild growth oil um the white bottle and the yellow bottle like people are uploading their before and after pictures and their hair is going a lot so some people even cut off all their hair a bit chopped and now they have this huge fro after a year right now I'm using the wild growth oil and do growth oil and um both gotten from the Vita store one the wild growth oil was about $1.99 and then the do grew oil is $5.99 and yeah I'm using these two so I'm using these two and because my hair is in braids it's so much easier to oil my scalp and that's why I like my hair being up in these braids because I can literally go and oil my scalp versus when I have my fro I feel like it's not really getting to my scalp and it's like messy and I have to try to massage it in there with this I can just go straight into my scalp and besides these two I am using a third oil I'm still using castor oil like castor oil is the holy grail for me a lot of people asked me before I even big chopped like back when I used to go to hair salons and my hair would get pulled out how I grow my hair back so fast and the castor oil like castor oil is everything like I've been using castor oil for like the past four years and it grows my hair out really good especially every two to three days I oil my scalp and I do do grew one day castor oil the other day and then wild growth oil the next day after that so I'm using all of them and I'm alternating in between and I honestly don't know if that's smart because like if my hair do start growing a lot I'm not gonna know if it's because of hair affinity or the oils but as long as my hair growing that's okay with me so yeah those are three oils that I'm using and I have a really simple regimen um I just wash my hair once throughout the month with a clarifying shampoo and then in between I do a normal co-wash and then I do a deep con deep conditioning treatment or a hot oil treatment I'm just using simple products like I don't plan to purchase any products anymore I have so many hair products now from the last time I was natural to now when I start purchasing more so I'm just using like normal cream of nature shea butter like normal natural hair products 
on my hair. Okay, so when I went to the Visa store to purchase the Kinecolon line hair for this hairstyle, like the lady literally gave me a whole bunch of samples, free samples of different hair products. Not going there a lot, so she did put some of these in my bag. So yeah, I'm, I won't, this is not a lot, but I have like this much hair. So I will not be really going out of my way to go buy purchase, go buy and purchase other hair products because I don't want to be a junkie. I want to kind of get rid of these so I can start over with new products that's like nat super natural and to back to back because 2018 I'm not wearing my hair at all like I'm trying to get my hair I literally want my hair to be to shoulder length and I'm not talking about like after you stretch like I want literally to wash my hair and it dries and it's still to be at shoulder length like even with shrinkage still at shoulder length once my hair is at shoulder length I will be completely satisfied because I feel like it's gonna be thick healthy and this is gonna look good and I kept cutting my hair when I was natural and if I would never have cut my hair because I cut my hair about seven times while I was natural the first time my hair would have been very long and my hair grows pretty fast like it runs in my family like my brother has natural hair and his hair is curly my mom has natural hair like everyone has natural hair in my family so it's and this is going to probably be my last hair update like I don't want to do too many hair updates just because you won't be able to see the growth so six months from now in July when it's a year then I will be doing a one year hair update on my channel so you can see exactly how long my hair is and hopefully it look you guys enjoyed the six month update yes my hair is still growing and I will be back with some more wig reviews and I will see you in the next video